sit with you guys. Um, it's the first time I do it, so forgive me if I say anything wrong, etc. Um, I didn't happen a lot. Anyway, um, feeling as a, knowing it to be an artist or feeling an, an, uh, as an artist, it's two different things, huh? in my opinion. I will take the theme, the theme ink because that's the theme of Creative Mornings. But I'm not going to talk a long time about ink because actually ink is just um, fluid um, support that with pigment creates ink and I think we all aware of it. So in my opinion, this theme from the basic idea, uh, I would like to take it more into the differences between art and tattoo art, if it's the same or not. A lot of tattoo artists worldwide would not be very happy with this speech, but um, I do not, uh, <laughs> yeah, I do, I, I, I do not think that tattoos and art is the same thing. So, um, so what do we know about ink actually? Huh? Liquid contain pigments. Um, we use it to uh, to color surfaces, to tattoo, to uh, make prints, um, everything that we can use. Um, the pigments, um, the the ink can come in liquid, in pasta. Um, there's a little, a, a lot of variations for it. We take our pigments from every possible uh, material. That means that there's inks that are um, um, fluids that are dissolved with pigment that comes from metal, from stones, from plants, from, uh, um, I don't know, from um, flowers. Um, there's so many different types of um, um, ink and pigments. They differ in the tattoo world or in the normal world. Today, for example, we are not allowed to use inks that contain any metal inside. So all of it is organic and we do try to use our inks or mix our pigments in, uh, in fluid that would not contain anything that will harm the skin, huh? that everything will be organic. Um, so, um, yeah, um, we were using, we're using inks since the beginning of time, actually. Uh, when you think about the cave drawings, it was actually graphite or ashes, burned ashes, diluted with water, with animal fat, painted them, painted ourselves, painted the walls, and it created a history uh, without, without this um, expression through our, uh, actually it started when we started visualizing ourselves as humans. When you look at yourself in the water at that time, because there was no mirrors, and you understand your own personal reflection. So, to understand this reflection, we started using ink or pigment to um, either resemble a, a certain, um, a certain situation, uh, assemble a certain situation. If it's going to war, if it's going to a hunt, we decorated ourselves and this decoration have actually slowly, slowly developed into a tattoo. The tattoos themselves, um, they, well, the, the word tattoo comes from, uh, from uh, Polynesia, Tahiti, Tatao, and actually means the handwork, hand, man hand work. So um, there is a direct contact between transforming your body uh, at the time for to, to assemble a group of people. So the hands were prints of us. The body painting makeup was a, definitely a small ritual that was done in I don't know, rites of passage when, uh, when the guys were uh, strong enough to go and hunt with, uh, with the elders in the village, etc, etc. In our society today, it has changed a lot. Um, if, sorry, if I go back once again to, to the past, um, the tattoos were found on mummies that are three, four thousand years old. That means that we understood that with a piece of bone or a tooth or a piece of wood, we would be able to bring these prints on the walls that we've done when decorated our caves into our bodies. And it was, in the beginning, was really, really simple. The basic idea was I would create myself a tattoo, tatao or whatever name. It even appears in the Jewish Bible um, and uh, it stands for almost over 
5,000 years now approximately the world, and the word is completely different, is ka'akua, but from the, from the pronunciation, I do not know if there is something that has spread gradually with time with human evolution, or it's something that individu individually uh, humanity have discovered for itself. This I do not know and I couldn't find any answer. But uh, this marking of the body and taking this, so to say, art, creating prints or um, defining my position in my uh, place or my territory in decorating it with, with different scenes and bringing it to your body and if I will have a tattoo and you will have a tattoo and you will have a tattoo and we share the same symbol that makes us, that bonds us together. And that was the beginning of tattooing in my opinion. No? Um, well, the word, the word tattoo, it's not very, very relevant, but the, just for you to guys to know, the word tattoo is, uh, is, is very old. Uh, in the 18th century, uh, James Cook actually brought it over to Europe. Um, like I said, it was tatao. Um, tattoos are found, were found in the last 3,000 years approximately everywhere in the world, the entire world. It, world. If it's here in Europe, if it's in Japan, uh, funny enough, uh, it's a small anecdote, in Japan actually tattooing is illegal. Huh? So you cannot just open your tattoo shop and uh, it is connected to the Yakuza. I've got lots of tattoos and if I will go to Japan, it's not necessarily that I will be able to bathe in their open baths, etc. So it is some kind of a, an interesting uh, anecdote. So. Um, like I said, uh, from Philippines, South America, uh, North America, New Zealand, Mesoamerica, Europe, Cambodia, Polynesia, Ethiopia, Borneo, etc., etc. So, everywhere in the same time, humanity have wanted to put themselves into this group of people, and every tattoo has a different meaning. In the 11th, 12th century here in Europe or in North Africa, uh, um, a lot of Christians did tattoo their children, their wives with Christian symbols. Only in that way would have, uh, um, the Muslims would, would not be able to convert them actually to Islam. In Judaism it is completely forbidden. Why? Because Judaism is a very, very close religion as you all know. You cannot become a Jewish, you have to be born Jewish. And people started in the Mediterranean doing tattoos in every different uh, uh, um, tribe. So in the Jewish Bible it is written, you, would not, you shall not tattoo your body, so you will not resemble another tribe actually that is, that is in, this, uh, um, in, in this region. So every uh, culture, every religion has its own perception of tattooing. Uh, in Ethiopia, for example, there's a lot of uh, unbelievable, a lot of uh, uh, people that uh, were born, um, I do not know with which religion or life philosophy, but were tattooed in Christian symbols to convert them actually to Christianity. Something that I find to be very, very funny actually, uh, because it's not, it's definitely, the, um, I do not know how a symbol would make you, uh, will make you a part of a religion. Um, well, there was, tattooing went very, very low uh, um, in the last two centuries. Um, I do not know exactly the reason and actually nobody can give you a real reason. It was very, very popular uh, till then in different uh, cultures and here in Europe it became some kind of a taboo for a long, long time. I do not know exactly why. Maybe because people started to migrate from here to different countries, to different lands, and did not want to look like the savages, so to say, in the different, uh, in the different countries that they have visited. So when they came back here, it was curiosity. No? They brought with them slaves, they brought with them samples, so to say, to present them here in, in some kind of museums called Cabinet de Curiosité, if it's in France, if it's in England, and brought with them tattooed people and presented them to the to the public as a, as, a, as, a, as a sample, as an animal, actually. So, um, when did it start to pick up? Um, because tattoos were existing, existing all the time and in the last hundred years people did tattoos. Huh? Uh, the first shops, in the real shops in Hamburg on the port 
are there for the last 80, 90 years. So somebody had to either know how to do these tattoos, either would like to get tattoos. So, of course, there's all these sailor ships uh, that came over um, and, and traveled and wanted to have a memory or once again rejoin this group of people that traveled with them, discovered this area and wanted to memorize it and become the, continue being part of this group. A lot of people, tattoo, a lot of tattooed people, uh, 10 years, 20 years ago, maybe 30 years ago, were considered to be crim criminals. Why? Because you sit in a cell, you don't have nothing to do with yourself, you think, you think, you think, you've got some friends that has tattoos, so you will get a tattoo that will, first of all, mark your staying in, the, in this cell that, that you're blocked in. You will choose a company of people that has the same symbols, that have the same tattoos as you, and you mark a statement for the outside, that is complete. You actually you use your body to to express yourself in a different way to what we express ourselves today. That means that at the time, uh, uh, like a hundred years ago or eighty years ago, you did this tattoo. You wanted to resemble a tribe. That goes also backwards two thousand years ago. That was the same reasons. Today we don't have the same reasons. Today it's fashion, pure trend, pure fashion. Um, Today I have two tattoo studios and 10 people working um, as tattoo artists in these two studios, plus four managers. Uh, next year maybe there will be another project, I do not know. This place I have for the last two months and I'm very happy to have it. Normally it's much more messy than, uh, than you see here, all the messes in the other room in the cellar. We just cleaned it up this morning. Um, so um, why? To, to go from tattoos because the first theme was ink, but like I said, I wanted to go uh, more into the difference between art and tattooing. Um, I wish for myself today that the tattoo will still keep its uh, uh, cultural roots. Psychologically seen, it has changed a lot. Um, today, like I said, we, do the we, we get tattoos because it's fashion, because it's trendy, because we would like to belong to a bigger, ma more massive group that one sees on Facebook, on Instagram, on the TV, on football players, etc. etc. I do believe that tattoo art uh, or the tattoos have changed not only their meanings, but also the perception of the tattoo artists themselves. So, um, I have started personally as a painter. I went to Paris, I've studied philosophy and art aesthetics and I will always be a painter. Afterwards I took the same ink or the same pigment, maybe not the same because that would not be very healthy, but I took the same uh, uh, way of seeing things and I've transformed it into skin. A different, complete different medium. If I will tattoo one of you guys, I will literally penetrate the most important organ of your body. First of all, the biggest organ, the first thing that you will have for the inside and the first thing that you're going to have for the outside. And you will have, you will have to uh, uh, be confident enough that this penetration of, of skin of, or of this material, of this organ, will leave its marks on you. And that's the whole idea about getting a tattoo, leaving a mark. So what is my job actually as a tattoo artist? Do I give you, uh, um, do I sell you my talent, give you a sell you a service? Um, would you remember me because I have given you what you have wanted? Or am I an artist that actually just sells his technique or his way of seeing things? Well, this is the tricky part and that's what I would like to go in this, uh, in this uh, small creative mornings. Veranstaltung, uh, uh, so to say. Um, so, um, well, the tattoo has shifted now. Um, it became as some kind of an, uh, an acceptable way of us expressing ourselves. Huh? There's thousands of different tattoo designs, thousands of different pigments, body areas, everything is possible today. We have traveled from very basic symbolic black ink, graphite, ashes, burned ashes, fat animal, bone into the skin 
to tattoo machines. Um, today we have tattoo machines that, uh, I don't know, they look like an electric pen, really, really strange things. Uh, they function, they do function. Huh? It's, uh, it's uh, companies that were uh, based on uh, permanent makeups and gradually with time came into the tattoo world as big, massive uh, sellers of new tattoo machines, new pigments, uh, new, uh, new needles, uh, there's small cartridges. So everything is going completely out of control. The tattoo business is big and is becoming bigger and bigger and lots of different influences come from, from, every, diff every si uh, from every side, if it's biological or scientific or machinery engineering, etc. So it's becoming very interesting and it's, it, it is growing fast in the making of the tattooing. Um, today we've got a lot of people that get tattoos, you have a lot of people that do tattoos. What are the reasons for it? That's, uh, that, that's what I would like to, to discuss with you guys. So, um, can you tell me what is the difference between... Do you have any idea what will be the difference about creating... If I would create, for example, I will do a sleeve on you and that will be my piece of art on your arm or if I will choose the set to do the same piece of art, but as a painting. Somebody has an idea what will be the difference? No? So it's very, very simple. I sell service. You come to me and you ask me, man, I would like to get this whole arm done. You can do what you want to do. It doesn't work like that. What does it mean, do what you want to do? It's, uh, it, it doesn't work like that. So you will be a little bit more specific and you're going to tell me, you know what, let's, uh, I will give you a theme. And the theme will be uh, good against evil. Okay, fantastic. Yeah, but where does it go? What is good against evil? Everything is in the eyes of the beholder. We can interpret everything as we want to interpret. It is not enough for me to use a machine, a needle and some ink and to put it in the skin to create a piece of art. So um, that's the actually the first problem that we have, or the first difference that we have between the, the arts and the tattoo art. I do defer them, I do put them aside. Being a tattoo artist for me, and I'm sorry, maybe we shouldn't film that, but being a tattoo artist for me, while tattooing has nothing to do with art. It's to do with selling your technical abilities, your creativity in a form, of a, of a tattoo, pigment beneath the skin. This pigment from the moment that I've tattooed Sebastian will start rotting in his body, completely normal. Huh? Our body changes, the ink or the pigment, the molecules themselves will dissolve and live in symbiosis inside our skin. So gradually with time, this skin will grow old and with it are pigments inside the skin. So. Um, to go back to this first difference, Sebastian have chosen me. I did not choose my medium. That's the first thing that we have to defer between art and tattooing. A lot of tattoo artists do think that when playing with an image on Photoshop and transferring it through ink needles to the skin, they do something artistic inside. I do not think so. There is no concept. Sebastian brought the concept, even if it's very vast, like uh, uh, good against evil, it doesn't matter. It was his concept, it is his skin. He have, the medium have chosen me. That is the first rule, in my opinion, of being an artist. I, as an artist, would like to do my artwork on anything possible. That means if it is a wall, if it's using sand because I don't have money to buy myself good pigments, if it is uh, to create a, a, a sculpture, if it's uh, walking in the street and, and making a performance because of this theme, I choose the medium as an artist. Very, very important. You're in my small atelier, you see that all my paintings are on canvases. Why? Because it's the most basic, it's the most noble. I could have chosen to paint the walls, I could have chosen to paint on wood, on metal, on glass, on anything. I have chosen I, to paint on canvas and I have chosen to paint with oil colors. Why? Because that's what I feel in this moment of my life, it might change. Going back to the tattoo, I cannot decide. The medium chooses me and gives me my material work. That means it can differ from each one of you has different skin 
and each one of you would like his tattoo or artwork or his marking of a tribe, of a newborn fashion tribe, or I do not know how to call it, you bring the support. So that is for me the biggest difference. The second difference is of course the concept. Good against evil, religious, uh, doesn't matter, old school, new school, traditional tattoos, there are so many different uh, um, sectors today in tattooing. Um, so the concept is also not mine. That's the second thing. Um, well, um, there's, there's lots of uh, differences between uh, there's lots of differences between tattooing and art, uh, like, I, uh, like I said, and I will try to bring it back to, um, uh, to a small example that happened last week. Last week I've uh, started, that was the second session, we is, we're working a complete arm, very, very intelligent uh, guy I'm, I'm working with, super lovely, and his idea was um, organic construction that will contain nine fetuses inside their cocoon or inside their, their uh, the, uh, uterus water, so to say. And that describes the nine months of pregnancy that he couldn't follow because his girlfriend at the time or wife at the time did not allow him to assist the pregnancy. She left him before the baby was born and he was not able to, to follow it. So he brought me a concept. In this concept, I felt very, very comfortable. Uh, I do not know why, maybe it's because of the, of the way of the work, because he wanted it to be very, very organic, and I do like to work very organic things, uh, very organic tattoos. And, uh, but I think the whole story that just touched me and we chatted and we talked, we had a lot of things in common, music, uh, taste, etc., etc., so I've decided to take him as a customer. Today with two studios, I can, uh, I, can, uh, I can allow myself to say, no, I do not want to work on this object or uh, I would prefer working on another. So that is a definitely a very good advantage, a very big advantage. Anyway, um, the guy, um, we do, we've done the second session last week and he has, I, 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 I took some pictures for me to study it because it's a work in progress. It's 50, 60 hours work, so we have to see what you have done. And uh, you don't, I, I, cannot I cannot go in and remember, oh, okay, I have to put a little bit more pigment on this one. I do not know how it heals, so it's definitely a good way to, to do things. And he actually asked me not to post any images of his tattoo, something that I found very, very strange. Um, it, it's not the first time that it happened to me, but what I found strange is like, just a second, it's your tattoo or it's my tattoo? I did not understand where the, where the uh, uh, borders are. Of course, he came with a concept. Of course, he brought me the medium, the skin. But the drawing, the sketch, the idea, the composition, everything was mine. So, once again, piece of art devised in two. I'm not really sure about it. As a, as a painter, a, a, when, while painting, I'm very, very selfish. It's only mine. And the only thing that is important for me is the process itself. When it is done, guys, you can have the paintings. I don't, I don't really care because there will be another painting that will come and I will try to build uh, something, something new. But this idea of, of taking an image of a work that I have done, that is, in my opinion, my own creation, so to say, though he, he brought the concept and the medium, I was brought still lots of questions in my mind. I did not, I was not really sure if this is, uh, uh, if, 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 it, if this is uh, um, true or not, or not true, but how can I choose a word? I, I don't know. Um, so it brings me to the, the question of, of, of what is a real artist? If, you, if you're a painter, if I would not invite you here and you, nobody would have seen my paintings, would I be still a painter or would I be still an artist? Because this is the big question. So does an artist have to expose? Now, I've tattooed Sebastian, I've done your fantastic sleeve. You don't want me to put the pictures on the Facebook. Cool. Still, you wear my work. Still, other people will see it. Your loved ones, society, in summer, you're going to wear a t-shirt. So there will be an in, a direct influence on the work I have done on the medium that have chosen me. So there is a, a, a big, big difference, once again, between why people are doing tattoos today or what is my position as, as, as an artist while doing tattoos or choosing this medium in, in tattooing. So um, um, 
that's, that's actually the, the third or the fourth point that differs art than the tattoo art. So it's, uh, it's still a little bit um, unclear. Um, now, while putting the pigment inside the skin, or the ink inside the skin, because this was the theme from the beginning, <laughs> uh, while putting the, 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 this ink into the skin, penetrating this person, harming his skin, destroying this, uh, um, uh, destroying this uh, shield that we have, okay, the biggest organ on, uh, that, that we have in our body, I'm putting actually this ink into the dermis. So it's approximately two, three layers. The needle will, in the work, will destroy, because I don't know if you know how skin is built, but we have this kind of small walls between every small part, if you will see it with a magnifying glass. glass. So the needle has actually opens it up, destroys it, plants the pigment inside the skin, goes super fast, our skin is an amazing medium, it closes directly and leaves the ink beneath it. Now, it slowly, slowly heals, creates some kind of a crust on the tattoo. Funny enough that the skin, our body does not reject it out. So this is the, the, this is the, the, the interesting part. We don't reject it out like you will reject a, an, an infection or, or, a, or a scar will be built on it. So if the tattoo is well done, you will have a crust. But then if the pigment places itself between the small walls of skin, when the crust is off, it will just pop up a little bit in the healing process and it will continually change in our body till the la last day that we live. Huh? So it's, uh, the medium itself is, is amazing. As, uh, our skin is so strong, we can go five, six times on the same area to contrast and to bring it in and it will still not be damaged if you do it the right way. So this is a, um, a really, a, a really uh, uh, amazing medium. And I do understand why a lot of tattoo artists or a lot of artists will go into this medium. But what will make our artwork live? What, what, when you are here in the room, some people would like my painting, some people would not. But it will create a question. Who is this old woman? What that's supposed to mean? Who are these two women? Is that Jesus? Is that Moses? Is that Cain and Abel? Each painting has, has a small language that you will be able to connect with. If it touches you, in whatever matter it will touch you, that's already, a, that, that's already my part as a tattoo artist and I've done my part, or an, as an artist or as a painter, and I've done my part. Great, I, I will be very, very happy about it. But what happens with my artwork when I've tattooed Sebastian's arm? It lives with you. You create the atmosphere. You, you with your energy, the way that you uh, uh, live with the tattoo, that will make this combined, so to say, artwork live. If you like your tattoo, if you like your body transformation, if you feel that you belong to this group of people that has this type of tattoos, then yes, my artwork will work. If you would not live good with it, and your energy will be like, hmm, oh, it's just a tattoo, I do not know, or the colors are fading, it will be too late because you cannot take it off, of course. Um, then then the, the, this, this combined artwork between two people uh, will just slowly, slowly die. So, um, in my opinion, that is also a big difference between uh, me as an artist while I paint and me as an artist while I'm tattooing. And that's one of the reasons why I do not consider myself, when I tattoo, I do not consider myself as an artist. I consider myself as a drawer, a sketcher, a painter that sells or manages to transform his creativity into a different medium. And, of course, I, I sell service. So, um, this is unfortunately not a, lot of, not a lot of people in the tattoo business will tell you the same thing. So, uh, you can read a million things on the internet and, and go to a lot of conventions and you will see a lot of amazing work, a lot of really amazing work. 
today it's so you can find everything from uh, Russian uh, old Russian propaganda influences in a style called trash polka to amazing modern Japanese combination between European and Asian work you can find everything you would like to but once again uh, while tattooing am I really an artist so uh, that's um, that is uh, that is for me a very important question now what, what what will make the biggest difference is once again the medium um, it's not only the choice of the medium if I'm tattooing you you've got white skin but you're a bit skinnier if I'm tattooing you your skin is a little bit more yellowish and even more skinny than Sebastian your arm so if I will take your both arms I will have to work differently on both of you. I will prefer working on you on different tones. I would not use greens, for example, because the greens will not make me a good contrast with the little bit of the yellowish tone skin. I will prefer more working in blues or working maybe in, in, in a, in a uh, color that will give me a different contrast. Ochres, reds, oranges, it will vibrate a little bit more. With you, I'm limited. I can do whatever I want. The only problem is that we have rules in tattooing that doesn't exist in other types of arts. Um, of course, I have decided this medium of painting in oil, but I could have decided something else. When you come to me and get a tattoo, or when you come to me and get a tattoo, I am limited. I'm limited in the size of my artwork. I'm limited in the colors that I can use. I'm limited in the contrasts. I can put in a tattoo will lose approximately 60% of his ink or his pigment in the time that we are alive. Almost 60%. Imagine how much black should I put inside your skin so this tattoo will be still recognizable but you by your children and maybe by your grandchildren someday or sometime. So um, this is definitely um, uh, for me, a, 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 a gigantic difference between creating as a painter and creating as a tattoo artist. Huge difference. And you also bring the size. You have a budget. And some of you would not be able to wear uh, um, sleeve tattoos because of your jobs, because of your so the, the society, etc. Et so all this limitation brings me once again to the conclusion that while tattooing, I'm not an artist. I am a tattooist. I sell service like your makeup artist, like your hairdresser, like your clothing designer. I think in my, from, my, from my side I'm actually doing exactly the same work as they do, except, except the trust that you give me because it will never go out. It will never go away. There is nothing that will take out the pigments that live in symbiosis with ourselves. Um, and no, I do not think that it is necessary to remove tattoos. If somebody with 18 or 17 or 16 years old have done a mistake, I think this tattoo will show him this moment that he's done his mistake. And if we change, and it's very good to change and develop, we still have to remember where we come from. My old tattoos, I, I do see like that. It is painted in ink in my skin with a needle. It was painful, I remember every second of it, and I will never, never regret them ever in my life. It is a part of me a hundred million percent. Ugly or nice, it doesn't matter. <laughs> uh? I'd like to give a huge